bait fishing for the fluke. The way I do this is I coil the line and get the end and I grab this just like that. I go for the end over here just so get about a semicircle somewhere in there. Then I take that around, I grab it again here. I go all the way back down, grab it again, flip that over, just like that. I'm just gonna throw this like a frisbee. Some spearings here. Now I'm just I'm doing pier fishing today. I've just been finding this so relaxing this time of year, this year, that uh, that's what I'm doing. That's uh uh, I've just been finding this too relaxing. We get the whole place to ourselves every time, wherever we go. So just really enjoying it. Go some big bait. We'll swing that bait through. You get out here with this. You get out there, that's for sure. I can get even get further than that. Let's see what we get. Close to 100 yards. I'm going to swing that bait through. That's what I've been doing. Swinging the bait. Check the snags. Oh. Once we get one fluke, we should get a few more fluke. That is what I want. This is what we're looking for. So it's fluke. The sea robins are stacked. We got some big glow fish. Plenty of sea bass here looking to have fun. Look those fluke. They'll kind of skim up to the top. And he is not. I wonder if it's one of those giant, giant puffer. Probably a sea robin. Wait, wait. Oh, he's a fluke. It's a nice fluke, too. It's a fluke. All right. He ate our hook. He's not a keeper, I know that. Eight, 16. So we ate our hook. He's a chunky fluke, too. So there might be a few more out there. So I'm going to have to... Retire. I'm just going to clip it. I might be able to get that. Ow, ooh, ah, don't do this. They got some serious teeth. If I can get it. Got it. <laughs> but don't do that. Blue's got some nice teeth. So let's get it going this way. Alright, buddy. Right to the bottom. A right. little bit bigger strips. Squid bait, got clam too. I'm a little choice. Everybody likes choice, even the fish. They don't have to be perfect. And clam. One of my favorite pieces of bait is the squid head. Maybe we'll get something on it. Maybe a blowfish on the squid head. Something like that. <laughs> Let's see. Something here. Hoping there'll be some fluke in the mix. Oops. And right now, oh wow, that's a big puffer. That's a big guy. 
need the hook. I'm just going to clip that then. Maybe. Too deep. Don't want to pull on it. Get a bunch of them and it's a big puffer. One will let go. You start getting them like crazy. And we'll keep them. Show you the rig. It's just a three-way rig or it could be a Montauk rig. That's just a loop, a surgeon loop I think I tied. Big loop. Three ounce sinker to that. This is actually what I tie my streamers on. And that's a size, I think it's a size one. It could be a one oh hook. And the fluke, they love squid strips. So I do have clam too. So I'm just kind of doing a little bit of threads on there. I'll tell you, this is nice. I like this water. It's all working kind of, kind of in. I'll show you how to do up the cast net since I got it. I think there's peanuts in there now. So I put that around my wrist. And be careful you put it around your wrist because I've, I've lost them. So I make coils. One, however long your line is. Okay, well that's perfect. Then I bring this up. So I'm going to put that my hand like that get that straight I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab the bottom so we make some sort of a quarter of a circle quarter of a circle and come together I'm gonna to put it in this hand then I'm gonna go do it again so this time I'm gonna flip that up and over like that and I'm gonna put that I'm gonna, I just can get this out but there were peanuts down there somewhere now they're gone Fish down there too. Where'd they go? Is it spearing? They were balled up down there. Spearing, okay, I think I see them under the spearing. Alright, let me get this out. It'd be great to get some. I think I see them flashing. Alright, I'm just gonna take a throw. If they're there, they're there. If they're not, they're not. And that's it. Find out soon. Is there any weight to it? No. Nothing. That's good bait. I get the net. I got the net. Oh yeah, those are peanuts. I gotta get some. This is where you're going to get your fluke when you got the peanuts around. Let's only get this back in. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks real good down there. Okay, I think I see some peanuts now. Get some peanuts, we'll get some good fluke. Do that. No, they're gone already. No time. Oh, there they are. Got the table. There they are. Let's see if we can get some into the wind. Oh, we got them. We got them. We got peanuts. See how many we got. It's another story. Let's see. Oh, we got plenty. We got plenty of peanuts. Oh, we got plenty of bait. Just drop it right in my bucket.
that's all we need. Rail dump these. Wow, that's something big. I don't know if I should get on the other side of the rail. That's a big fluke. I'm gonna have to walk him around. Could be a shark. Oh, he's digging. He's gotta be a shark or a robin. What is he? Wow, that's a big, big sea robin. That's a big robin. <laughs> This is all. This is a big robin. He's got to be. This is 16. It's a good, good eating size robin. Now we got some fresh peanut bunker. Get him on with a squid strip. I want to try that. It's a lucky day. Oh, I'm just going to stick him right under the rip. Right on the side of the rip. I'll let him swing. Swing in right on the edge. Let's see if we get fluke. Feels a little heavy. I like that. I'm kind of digging into it. Here he comes now. Oh, you too. Thank you. Wow. It's a keeper. Yeah. Uh. Second one was smaller. I think he's a keep. You too. Yeah, he's a keeper. I knew he was. Ow, ooh. He's gonna bite me good. Slow down, we'll get you. We'll get you. Okay. Some keeper fluke with the squid bait. It's right up. Right about the line. Oh, slow down. So we're bait fishing for fluke, squid bait, deer bait fishing. This feels like it's a fluke. Pretty sure it is. They kind of glide in, then they kind of tug, and oh yeah, it's a fluke. All right, that is a fluke. Sea robins just continually throb and throb. It's good. Flukes, summer flounder fishing, clam, squid, and peanut bunker, and got him on the, got him on the combo. And when you get those fluke, you want to get right back out, because I forgot where he took, I think he took somewhere in there, nice rip in there. edge when you get those fluke you want to get right back out because sometimes you got a nice patch of them oh that's a good one that's a good one see coming in i might have to get to the other side here just in case oh mama and walk down there and just in case he's a big fluke but he's probably a sea robin
Those loops usually come up on top. And that's all a part of it, is fighting through something or another to get to what you want. I guess that is just a general axiom of life.